We're here with our good friend Steve going on the marine artist and the official marine artist here at Pirates Cove Billfish Tournament. Steve, uh, first of all, welcome to the Point Click Fish Studio. Well, th thanks, Jay, and um, I got to say, I I'm really impressed. I've I've heard about this setup coming for about a year now, and uh, your truck outside and this trailer is. Uh, I wish I was in here a couple days ago. I would be hanging out here more. Yeah, we've gotten some feedback that a lot of people wish they were in here uh, hanging out here. It's uh, very comfortable here in the studio, but thank you for the words on the on the trailer. And we always enjoy uh, the tournaments that we get to spend with you when we're on the road, and we have a great time. But tell us a little bit about your history here with the Pirates Cove Billfish Tournament. Wow. Um, you know, I always say Pirates Cove, it's truly a cornerstone uh, in my career as a marine artist. Uh, I've been here 22 years, longest event I've ever done. Uh, when um, Heather Maxwell, the tournament director, and her sister brought me here. Uh, first year I came here, I wasn't even the artist. Barry Martin was the tournament director, and they wanted me to come down to take a look at it. And the following year I, I, I was here, and uh, it's, um, it's a great event. I do a lot of business, uh, but the best friends I've ever made in this industry uh, come right out of this tournament. Well, you know, that's one of the things we we're talking about with uh, director Heather Maxwell, uh, you know, kind of that family atmosphere that's here and kind of the, the friendships that are made and, uh, you know, the, all the things that go on, not only the fishing, but the, the things during the day and the atmosphere on the docks. Yeah, it, it's, there, there's just so much to do here. And uh, I've brought my family for 20 years here. I've watched them grow up here. Uh, I've watched other people's children grow up here. Uh, I've been involved in watching people buy boats and sell boats and uh, I've been at birthday parties and anniversaries. Uh, it, 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 it truly is. It's a, it's a family atmosphere but at the same time you've got some of the top fishermen in the world competing every day so it's a great combination. Uh, business on the dock, I mean, uh, friends on the dock, business on the waters, uh, I guess a good way to put it here at Pirates Cove. And everybody's, you know, competing for that uh, that top place. Um, so that's something that's always fun to watch is how they go out there and compete and uh, have a good time. But let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the artwork uh, for this year. Yeah, um, it was interesting. Um, Heather Maxwell, the uh, tournament director, she has a great concept. She likes to honor the winner from the previous year. Uh, so this year, uh, we honored the CIC, uh, which had a remarkable event last year. I think they caught three double headers on the last day to win. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the original, although the Marlin are to focus uh, to, to re uh, relay a, a billfish event, uh, the, the CIC is in the piece, and uh, the owner gets a kick out of it. And a lot of people come up to my display during the week, and they'll say, hey, I'm going to win this thing so you can paint my boat next year. Well, that's one of the things, do you do a lot of commissions for a lot of the boats, and you get an opportunity to uh, to put that on canvas to be able to, to you know, to capture what they're uh, doing and the places they travel and kind of that uh, branding for the boats. That's something that I imagine is a lot of fun for you. It's a lot of fun um, because I'm obviously my own my own business. When I get the chance to work with someone and they commission me, and and we start with photographs of the boat and then sketches. Uh, it's 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 a time that I'm working for somebody and these boats are so personal and they mean so much to these people uh, that uh, we put a lot of time in detail and uh, to, to see the reaction when they're done it, it's just um, it, it's an amazing opportunity to really get to know people and I've made some really good friends because uh, a lot of times I say well Steve you know why don't you come out and fish with us for a few days and get to know the boat and it's like oh okay I, I, I can do that yeah, I imagine that helps kind of put it all together about their personality in the boat and the way that they kind of want to portray that. So that's something that's very exciting. Now, we always keep up with it throughout the year, and you stay very busy. Um, so, you know, a little bit of where have you been and uh, where are you going? Uh, hopefully you may get a little bit a little bit of downtime after this for a little bit. Uh, I know you've got a few more weeks. Yeah, um, you know, uh, when I look at my travel season, which is January through Labor Day weekend, I have to look from a business standpoint and and get in front of as many different groups of boats as I can. Uh, this year I started out in Costa Rica in January and February with Los Sueños, um, uh, was in the Dominican Republic for a bit, went through the Bahamas, Bermuda, uh, Gulf of Mexico, uh, Kona, Hawaii. I, I know it sounds wonderful and it is wonderful to travel, but when you go to the Gulf of Mexico, you get in front of 80 Gulf of Mexico boats. When you go to um, 
Bermuda, you're, you're, you're out there with, well, there are boats coming from all over. So I did 18 events this year. This is number 17, Virginia Beach next week, and then it's a wrap for my uh, 2016 tour. Then you get a little bit of time to uh, paint. To paint. <laughs> well, yeah, the whole, uh, work, but not travel, right? right? You're exactly right. Now, one of the things, too, if somebody's looking to purchase your work or they want to uh, learn more about you, what's a, a good way to do that? I appreciate you asking. Um, I have a basic website, which is stevegoyone.com. The last name is G-O-I-O-N-E. It's not an easy one. I have a brand new site that's stevegoyoneprints.com that features about 40 of my prints. Uh, and then, of course, we have Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. So, uh, so I'm all over social media, and you can get in touch with me really any way through there. We definitely always appreciate the opportunity to catch up with you and uh, attend these events with you as well. Yeah, one more thing while I'm here, I just want to, uh, as a thank you for you guys coming here and doing all you do, I just uh, give you this little mini print of this year's tournament artwork as a, as a thank you for being just great hosts. We definitely appreciate it, and uh, I tell you, that's some, some beautiful artwork, and you do a fantastic job. And, you know, one of the things before we before we go, I know that's something that we've actually posted some uh, video of you before. And, <laughs> yeah. and explain to people the artwork itself, uh, you know, like, what do you do? How do you create it? We, we know the answer to this, but, uh, you know, we've had the opportunity to watch you work and, and like I said, video some of it. But just yeah. t tell everybody a little bit about the artwork itself, like how you create it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's created in watercolor and pen and ink. Uh, I watercolor first, and if anyone is familiar with artwork, watercoloring takes some time because you have to let it dry and, and, and layer it. So in a typical painting, let's say I'm illustrating watercolor for six or seven hours before it's done, but then on top of the watercolor I do a technique called pointillism. I use technical pens and they're just tiny needle-sized dots, mm -hmm. and those dots are what brings all the detail into my work. Um, and if a typical painting has six or seven hours of watercolor, it'll have 20 to 25, sometimes 30 hours of pen and ink work. But it takes a long time, but it's become my signature, and I enjoy it. Uh, at times I wish I picked another medium to work in, but uh, it's become what I've known for, and, and I'm, uh, I'm fortunate for it. Well, it's definitely beautiful work, but I know that's a question that you get asked a lot, and uh, we definitely appreciate that, and uh, always a pleasure to have you uh, interview with us. Well, thank you so much, and again, uh, you guys are doing a great job. Um, uh, I just hope to do more events with you next year. We look forward to it. Thank you, Steve. You